So Microsoft's Surface Laptop 3 is finally here. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a first look at what this device is and isn't offering and do some initial testing to make our first impressions of this laptop. So sit back, subscribe, and let's get started. So in front of us is the 15 inch model with a metal body, no Alcantara, packed with the new Ryzen 5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. This build comes in at a cool $1,700. So stick around to the end of the video for my thoughts on the pricing of the Surface Laptop 3 line. Taking a quick tour of the device, it is very thin and light, but also has a very solid feel to it. The four rubber bumpers on the bottom keep the laptop very secure. On the top, you have your logo, of course, and it's quite reflective. On the bottom of the device is an air vent going across the laptop and some additional branding. Aside from that though, there isn't much else to say about the design because it's created to be simplistic and straightforward. And the ports will hopefully suffice for our needs, including a USB-A, USB-C, no Thunderbolt, headphone jack, and Microsoft's proprietary connector for charging. The 65 watt charging brick is essentially the same size as the Surface Pro's charger, which is nice. And in a quick charging test for 30 minutes or so, we went from 24% to 64%. Not too bad. One thing missing though is a recessed area on the front of the laptop for opening it up, which you may be used to seeing on other laptops. Maybe I just need to get used to the Surface, but the one-handed openability is tough to get started, requiring the right grip or digging a fingernail in there to raise the lid. This MacBook in comparison opens up very easily without even having to think about it. One more thing I'd like to mention on opening and closing the laptop is that my device makes a very small clicking noise when closing the laptop that doesn't seem like it should be there. For a very solidly built and constructed laptop, it's a bit off-putting. Have a listen for yourself. But now that we do have the laptop open, let's talk about that screen. The 15 inch 2496 by 1664 resolution display is no joke. And it's why you buy this 15 inch model. And it certainly doesn't disappoint. The PPI of 201 is lower than the Surface Pro 7 and the upcoming Surface Pro X's 267 pixels per inch, but the viewing experience certainly has been good for me so far. The bezels are pretty slim, but for 2019 standards, I think some people might wish they were a bit slimmer. Personally, I think it's fine, and it has practicality to it so that you're not touching your screen when opening and closing the laptop or adjusting the viewing angle. The screen's colors look good to me. It's nice to have touchscreen functionality to use every now and then, and I'm happy with the level of brightness. But speaking of brightness, what is up with the keyboard backlighting? There are three options of backlighting to choose from, but they are all very dim. In a dark room, yes, you are able to see your keys thanks to that backlighting, but when comparing this keyboard to others, we can see very noticeable differences. Here is the 2013 MacBook Pro, outshining the Surface Laptop 3 by a long shot. Even the Surface Pro keyboard is lighting the way here with better brightness options. Call it nitpicking if you want, but if this is Microsoft's top of the line laptop, laptop costing an arm and a leg, there should not be any compromises. The typing experience on the keyboard is pretty good with a decent amount of key travel. Have a listen for yourself. Underneath the keyboard are the speakers, and they sound great. Now the bass isn't going to be heavy, it is a laptop we're talking about after all, but have a listen for yourself. Expect some rattling of the speakers at max volume. The trackpad works very well and has a bit of a soft clicking experience. Scrolling through web pages is also a breeze. Take a listen and look for yourself. Regarding performance, I am very happy with not having to hear any fans or noise coming from the laptop when performing lighter tasks like web browsing and watching YouTube videos. Heavier use cases and testing of the new Ryzen processor is to come in future videos, so make sure you are subscribed for that. The face unlock is extremely fast, sometimes being unlocked and ready to go within the time of opening up the laptop. Booting up the laptop is also extremely fast. In this real-time recording, I'm going from boot up to signing in with face unlock in a matter of seconds. Super fast. Working with stuff plugged into the laptop is also very enjoyable as the charger sits very flush against the side, so mouse usage is good 
and the ports are positioned well to be out of your way. So my two initial gripes with this device are the horrendous keyboard backlighting and questionable pricing structure. If you thought Apple overcharged customers for storage upgrades, think again. If you want to increase your storage from 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes, expect to pay $300. And if you want to up your RAM from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, you will pay an additional $200 for that. So yes, Microsoft is promoting this new 15 inch model starting at $1199, but an additional 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage will run you an additional $500. But all in all, everything else has been very enjoyable so far after a few hours of usage, and I'm very much looking forward to further testing that Ryzen 5 processor for you guys, so stay tuned for that. But what are your initial thoughts on the Surface Laptop 3? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.